it started with a leak. Not a crash, not a test flight, not even a spy photo. Just a quiet breach buried deep inside defense contractor servers across the United States. No one knew it at the time, but that data would end up shaping the next generation of Chinese stealth fighters. Because the aircraft you're looking at, the J-31 or FC-31, didn't just appear out of nowhere. Its story begins with one of the most audacious cases of industrial espionage in modern history. When Lockheed Martin was finalizing the F-35 Lightning II, the most expensive weapons program ever created, America's rivals were watching closely. Every radar contour, every engine vibration, every heat signature mattered. The F-35 wasn't just another fighter jet, it was a flying ecosystem. Part stealth platform, part sensor fusion hub, part data sharing machine. Its development costs ballooned to over $80 billion, but it gave the U.S. an edge no one else could match. And yet somehow, within a few short years, China's state-owned Shenyang Aircraft Corporation rolled out a jet that looked almost identical. Same twin tails, same stealth-optimized angles, even the same canopy profile. Coincidence? Hardly. By 2009, the FBI and cybersecurity firms were already sounding alarms about a massive digital breach targeting Lockheed Martin and several subcontractors involved in the Joint Strike Fighter program. The intrusions were traced to China-based hacking units, and U.S. intelligence quietly confirmed what everyone suspected. Terabytes of sensitive F-35 design data had been stolen. The stolen information allegedly covered everything from radar cross-section modeling to engine nozzle geometry and mission system architecture. What China got was a cheat sheet to the most advanced jet in the world. What they built from it would become the J-31. When the prototype first appeared at Zhuhai Air Show in 2012, aviation journalists couldn't believe their eyes. The silhouette was uncanny, like the F-35's twin-engine cousin. It even shared the same saw-toothed edges and wing sweep. Chinese officials called it an independent design. Western engineers called it copy-paste in titanium. But copying the shape of stealth is one thing. Replicating what makes it invisible is another story entirely. The J-31 looks sleek, but stealth isn't about looks. It's about physics. Every bolt head, every panel gap, Every exhaust plume affects radar signature. The F-35's stealth comes from precision manufacturing tolerances so fine they're measured in microns, and from radar absorbent coatings developed through decades of classified testing. China can duplicate the outline, but without identical materials, science and production methods, the radar cross-section jumps dramatically. It's like painting a sports car to look like a Lamborghini. It might fool you from across the street, but not on the racetrack. Still, credit where it's due, the FC-31's evolution shows how fast China's aerospace industry has matured. Early prototypes used Russian-supplied RD-93 engines, the same power plants found in Pakistan's JF-17. Smoky, loud, and anything but stealthy. Later models switched to Chinese WS-13 engines, but even those lagged far behind the F-35's Pratt and Whitney F-135 in thrust, fuel efficiency, and thermal management. That's not a minor detail. Engine performance dictates everything. Range, payload, climb rate, even stealth. The F-35's engine isn't just powerful, it's a masterpiece of integrated design, managing heat signatures so effectively that infrared sensors struggle to track it. China's current engines still run hotter, louder, and dirtier. All things stealth radar loves. And yet Beijing keeps doubling down. Why? Because stealth isn't just about outperforming the enemy in the sky. It's about catching up on paper. The FC-31 isn't just an aircraft. It's a statement. We can build what you can build. It's propaganda in aluminum form. Let's rewind for a second. After the US refused to sell F-35s to China, and placed export restrictions on advanced engines and sensors, the People's Liberation Army needed a technological leap. The J-20, their first stealth fighter, was built for long-range air dominance, a Chinese answer to the F-22 Raptor. But the J-31 was different. It was meant to be China's F-35, a smaller, cheaper, multi-role stealth jet capable of export and carrier operations. 
essentially a stealth fighter you could sell. That's what makes the espionage allegations so explosive. They weren't about stealing one aircraft. They were about stealing an entire business model. The F-35 program isn't just one jet. It's a multinational supply chain involving allies from Japan to Italy. Every nation that buys the F-35 ties itself to U.S. defense networks for decades. China wanted that same leverage. The J-31 could give it. By reverse engineering the American approach, China hopes to create its own stealth ecosystem. The aircraft's AI constantly reprioritizes data to reduce cognitive load. China's J-31 avionics, while improving, are still compartmentalized. Sensors feed data to displays, but not through deep fusion. That means pilots must interpret multiple streams at once. A 1990s workload inside a 2030 airframe. It looks futuristic, but it fights like an older jet. And here's something most people miss. Stealth fighters are only as powerful as the network they connect to. The F-35 is a node in a massive battle web. Satellites, AWA, CS aircraft, naval destroyers, and ground radar all feeding data back and forth. China doesn't have that global architecture yet. They're building regional equivalents, but without worldwide data relays, their stealth advantage collapses outside home airspace. That's why American analysts sometimes describe China's stealth progress as surface deep. It's not an insult, it's an observation. Beijing can reproduce the metal and mimic the look, but the digital nervous system behind the jet, that's still a mystery they haven't solved. Still, you can't underestimate the symbolism. The J-31 sends a message. China isn't content being a step behind. Its engineers aren't tinkering, they're iterating. The latest variant unveiled in 2023 looks cleaner, tighter, and far more refined. Internal weapons bays, serrated nozzle edges, improved canopy seals, all incremental steps toward genuine low observability. It's an aircraft evolving in public, something the US did decades ago behind closed hangars. Where things get interesting is export potential. The F-35 is expensive, upwards of $80 million per jet, plus a lifetime maintenance bill that makes smaller nations think twice. China wants to exploit that hesitation. The FC-31 could sell for half the price, giving emerging air forces a budget stealth option. Nations unable to access Western technology might jump at it. Think Pakistan, Iran, Egypt, or some African states aligned with Beijing's Belt and Road initiatives. But there's a catch. Export customers don't just want stealth. They want support. Logistics, training, spare parts, upgrades. The F-35's value lies in the lifetime ecosystem. Lockheed Martin doesn't just sell a plane. It sells a 40-year partnership. China's defense industry hasn't proven it can sustain that yet. Without a strong after-sales network, export sales remain limited to politically aligned nations rather than open market buyers. Still, geopolitically, that might be enough. If the J-31 becomes the stealth fighter of choice for U.S. rivals or neutral states, it shifts the balance of perception. You don't need to equal America's technology. You just need to undermine its monopoly on stealth. And perception is a powerful weapon. Now let's talk about the elephant in the hangar, the numbers. The F-35's program cost exceeds $80 billion just in R&D, with total lifetime costs topping $1.7 trillion. China's J-31 program cost? Classified, but estimates suggest a few billion, a fraction of the American budget. That disparity reveals the core strategy. China doesn't need to innovate from scratch. It can leapfrog by reverse engineering. From a cost-benefit standpoint, even a 70% replica that performs 50% as well is still a strategic win if it costs one-tenth the price. But capability isn't just about cost. True fifth-generation performance depends on things China still struggles with. Low observable maintenance cycles, pilot training pipelines, and combat data integration. The U.S. has over 1,200 F-35s flying across Allied fleets, all sharing live mission data. China has, at best, a handful of J-31 prototypes and pre-production models. You can't buy maturity with money alone. The technical ceiling shows an engine technology. 
The F-35's F-135 engine generates 43,000 pounds of thrust with unparalleled thermal control, allowing for short takeoff, vertical landing, and sustained supersonic flight without afterburners. China's WS-13 barely crosses 20,000 pounds per engine. Their next-gen WS-19 might narrow the gap, but it's still years from operational reliability. That's why Chinese prototypes rarely perform full-envelope flight demos. The engines simply can't handle the heat yet, literally. So why does China persist? Because each iteration teaches lessons that ripple across its military-industrial complex. The J-31 isn't just a stealth fighter project, it's a laboratory for material science, precision manufacturing, and digital simulation. Those lessons will shape future drones, bombers, and even civilian jets. The payoff isn't one aircraft. It's an ecosystem of competence. And that's what makes the story both impressive and unsettling. China may never perfectly clone the F-35, but it doesn't need to. It only needs to close the gap enough that deterrence shifts. If America spends $10 to stay one step ahead, while China spends $1 to stay one step behind, who's really winning the long game? Still, for now, the F-35 remains in a league of its own. Its combination of stealth, situational awareness, and network dominance isn't just unmatched. It's unapproachable. The J-31 may look the part, but in the invisible war of sensors and signals, looks don't matter. What matters is who sees first, who strikes first, and who disappears first. And that brings us full circle to the real lesson behind the $80 billion copycat. Stealing blueprints might build an airplane, but it can't build a legacy. The F-35 represents 30 years of iteration, cooperation, and operational experience. Things that can't be downloaded or replicated. The J-31 might one day fly alongside it in the same skies, but one will be hunting and the other will still be learning. And that's the story of the $80 billion stealth fighter China is copying from America. A tale of ambition, espionage, and the limits of imitation. But this arms race, it's far from over. The next battle won't just be fought with aircraft. It'll be fought with data, AI, and automation. If you want to understand where that's heading, the next generation of warfare, the rise of six-gen fighters, and how technology is rewriting global power, you'll want to see what's coming next. So hit subscribe, turn on notifications, and check out the next video the algorithm thinks you'll love. Because trust me, that one takes this story to an entirely new altitude.